Welcome back to my Industrialcraft 2 uh, documentation series. Uh, this is covering the thermal centrifuge. Uh, currently I'm using Industrialcraft 2 version 2.0.345 or Minecraft version 1.6.4. It is the 13th of January, 2014. I have set up a small experimental test world. Uh, I have a series of thermal centrifuges, and normally this system would not work uh, as set up here. However, with the machine explosions turned off, uh, this is perfectly safe. Uh, normally the thermal centrifuge only accepts up to a 128E per packet, and I have these attached to uh, MFEs outputting 512, so don't expect this system to work once the electrical system has been fully reworked. The experimental process I did is to fill uh, each MFE with a million EU and then attach that to a thermal centrifuge with the common uh, IC2 ores, uh, purified ores, and I let those run to completion. Uh, the heat difference, uh, copper is 500 heat, iron is 1500, silver is 1000, lead is 2000, Gold is also 2,000, tin is 1,000, and uranium is 3,000. The uh, reactor fuel rods are uh, 3,000 and above. Uh, the dual MOX and dual uranium, both I believe are 5,000 per process, or uh, 5,000 heat per process. Uh, here I have a power supply attached to a thermal centrifuge, nothing running in it, but I have applied a redstone signal. Uh, this will keep the thermal centrifuge at full heat capacity until something is put in. Uh, aside from a very slight power draw, there is no disadvantage to preheating the thermal centrifuges, as this will allow for instant processing to begin. So if we take our depleted MOX, this immediately begins processing. Uh, the heating up process usually takes about 50 seconds, or it takes uh, 50 seconds from 0 to 5,000 heat. In an attempt to get a slightly more accurate uh, energy draw in the Let's call it the keep hot state. Uh, I've adjusted the experimental setup slightly. And of course now it's not working. Perhaps because I failed to apply a redstone signal. But now that we're drawing smaller packets, this setup should show a very slow power consumption. Uh, in a previous attempt at recording this, uh, I noted the current time and power level, and then noted the difference uh, in roughly two minutes, uh, roughly uh, 2000 E was consumed. So it is not a tr uh, terribly large amount of power draw but it is something to keep in mind in case you do want to preheat your centrifuges. At this point, I will go ahead and wrap up. Uh, unfortunately, as with most things, uh, the thermal centrifuges are considered to be a test item, so no one really feels like saying, hey, here's some documentation on the inner workings of how they actually function. And without much to go on. This is simply a uh, 
review of my findings as well as an experimental setup. Uh, I will go through and before I wrap this up note that there is a slight difference in the power requirements uh, per process. I did 10 cycles in each and the difference between the 3000 uh, temperature and the 500 temperature uh, came out to be uh, roughly 2000 EU and I will be putting in an exact uh, a graphic with the exact values here so I will go ahead and leave you with that graphic and until next time, think big.